Good morning, Warriors. Back with another episode of Vigor Warriors 2 and the 1% Club. We are on, uh, we're at Friday, September 23rd, 2022. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys are on your purpose. Hope you guys continue to uh, fight and battle on. As uh, a few people have mentioned, uh, plums and uh, we had some great comments from Abstruck 101 and uh, Villem, thank you for your comment. I'll try to get to all of them I can, but as we talk about this, guys, we know this is a battle. And as people mention it, I think uh, Plums is talking about sin and having a problem with sin, and it's it's normalized, right? And uh, it's just unbelievable. And Winchester, thank you for your comment. I'm going to talk about what you said uh, and kind of focus the video on that one. But Plums, I'm going to go back to yours and talking about being normalized as sin, this temptation that we have. So I'll probably do a, a special on one at, and one as well. But thank you to Abstruct uh, 101 today and Willem for the latest uh, kind of things that you have. So thank you so much for that. I appreciate that. All right, so let's go into this a little bit and talk about this. Um, this is the, the one that Winchester has sent me a note indicating that women are just literally throwing themselves at at him. And that is actually very true. <laughs> That's actually very true in my experiences. I agree with you 100%, my friend. And let's kind of talk about why that happens. Why are women throwing themselves in front of you with semen retention? That's probably a good title for the, the actual uh, video. So let's kind of examine this. So as we look at this situation, we have to realize that men and women are created with amount of energy. And again, as you have your energy, your energy has really been given to you by, by God, the Lord, and Lord Jesus Christ, in my opinion, my, my viewpoint, um, to do a lot of different functions. Males are given that type of energy to go out and gather. In the old days, you go back to the cave, cavemen days, you're talking about uh, going out and gathering all kinds of stuff for the for the house and the family. They also there to protect. They protect the communities, protect the families, and things like that. So they're all there doing all those type of things to protect what's going on and to to accomplish things and get things done, building structures, all kinds of things like that. And so as you look at this, those are the those are the skills, and that energy level makes you a very strong masculine person. You're not going to do roles that don't require a lot of strength and energy and things like that. So males, really, that is what a masculine male should be, a warrior, which is why I always title this, you know, Bigger Warriors, because we should be warriors. We're out there conquering areas. We're out there um, protecting our areas. We're out there defending our areas. We're out there gathering you know, food, money, whatever you want to call it, depending on what time of frame you're in. You know, back in the old days, we didn't have that kind of money. So, you know, we're talking way, way old days. And so, you know, money wasn't the biggest issue. The money was a currency developed. So the thing is, is that, you know, we are males that go out and do that. The females really have that type of skill and, and ability to nurture, raise children, set up the next generations and do all the things needed to take care of the home and they also are out there working as well and helping now in this society we've kind of mixed those roles up a little bit and I think people want to believe that the roles should be totally mixed up but that's not in my opinion you know what God intended and I think certainly uh, there's no reason why and I've done it before you know take care of my children as they were growing up you know and there's no reason why women can't work. I mean, I'm not saying that they shouldn't do that. But what I'm saying is that God has given us roles and God has given us things they talk about in the Bible, things that we need to do. And skill bases that, that you know, work with that. And so the energy level we have is created within God's purpose with us and allows us to accomplish these type of things. Now... If you're at the stage where you are losing all kinds of energy because of, you know, looking at images or pornography or having one night stands, you know, three, four, five times a week and you're releasing energy all the time, 
what you're doing is you're going through a stage of withdrawal, losing your strength. Uh, it's almost like that, that uh, the analogy I made with Samson and Delia, Delia in, in the, the Bible, where they were actually kind of trying to get Samson, and he was talking about his weakness. And his weakness has to, had happened to be his locks of hair, but in this case, the weaknesses we're talking about is your energy. And it's almost like, you know, we're being drained all the time. And Delilah is on top of us all the time. And we're giving up energy to become weaker, weaker men as we go along. And so the sin is there. And as Plums was talking about, and I hope I'm saying that right, I think it's Plum, Plums, or P-L-O-M-S, thank you. I uh, appreciate the comments, my friend. He was actually correct. I mean, sin has become normalized. And so the whole country is coming down to the Samson Delia thing where men trying to have men become weaker. And that's not something that is needed when we try to defend our country and defend our families and defend everything else and be that strong male to go out and gather things that we need to do. So the thing is, is that um, when you're looking at this, the levels of energy, if you're sitting there and saying, okay, I am that masculine male and I want to go back to being the way God intended, well, what do you think is going to happen? Well, what's going to happen is that you're going to gain all those benefits back that you were losing during your, uh, you know, releasing energy. Now, there's nothing wrong, certainly, with doing it when you're trying to have children, and I think God intended us to do that. But that's only a short period of time in your life that you're really trying to have children. And obviously, once you have the children, you don't need to be doing it anymore. But the thing is, is there's no reason why you can't enjoy you know, time with your loved one. But what you're not doing is releasing energy over the place. And this is something that becomes very, very destructive. And because of that, it's very, very rare to find somebody who is not doing that. And I, you know, I admit, fully admit, you know, 47 years and until I was 58, 59, you know, I was not in that category. I was in that first category we talked about. And I couldn't understand what was happening to me. I just didn't understand this well enough and I didn't really commit enough. I guess it was the commitment part, especially since I knew it back in 1998, that this is really what I should be doing is kind of, you know, being celibate. But I didn't really listen to that and didn't understand the full, full importance of that. So as I look at this now, I should have been doing that a long time ago, but I'm blessed and glad that it's happened when it's happened, and uh, thank God for that. And I think that um, the point then, going back to what uh, Winchester was saying, is that it is so rare to see a person who has the energy and keeping their energy that nowadays women see that it's almost like you know sharks coming after someone or vultures coming after someone I call it the vampires right because it is so rare to see someone vampires come to people and have a lot of blood right it's so rare to see someone who has that type of energy that they're going to literally like Winchester says put themselves in front of you and I've seen it I've seen it I, thought, I saw it 10 times yesterday in one day. And guys, I remember this. I am 61 years old. So you guys in your 20s, 30s, 40s, you know, through 50s, you guys have a lot more uh, opportunity, testosterone levels, those type of things, because we do decrease as time goes on. But you can keep yours strong by doing the stuff we're talking about. You keep yours strong by retention, keeping it and trying to build it back up. And this is what I had to do over the last couple of years. And now, when you're built it up, and now you're becoming stronger, your voice sounds deeper, you just have that magic aura, energy around you, in your eyes, and the way your face is, that, you know, it's the energy that people are attracted to. We don't really talk about this because it's something that's not physical type of manifestation that you can see. But what ends up happening is that the energy is what people are drawn to. And it's almost like they'll just, women will come right to you and they'll start touching you, they'll start, uh, you know, kind of flaunting in front of you. Now, they don't even, they don't even realize what they're even doing. 
mean, they're just kind of reacting. It's more of a biological reaction. Now, some will just stare and they control their their energy, and obviously they're doing the same thing, trying to control their energy from their end of it. But they're basically looking at you and staring at you, and this is why sometimes it becomes awkward because they kind of just see right into you. They're really trying to see that energy, and what they want is the energy because they know that's something that's going to make them a lot stronger and make them to the point where they're going to be happy. Now, if you if you have a significant other and you want to give that energy to that person, that's wonderful. I think there's nothing wrong with that, especially with your, your wife. But if you're doing it just to random people and to random bed sheets and all kinds of other stuff, you're just throwing your you're just throwing energy away. And the energy is, is precious, my friend. Your precious energy is really important. I probably should do a video on that one by itself. But the thing is, you're you have precious energy when you focus on this and you're looking to kind of see what is the importance that we're looking at. And the importance really kind of focuses on the idea that you're really looking at trying to save that energy. You're looking at trying to make yourself stronger and you're trying to avoid a lot of that temptation that you see. But as Winchester says, and we've all been talking about, it is very apparent that when you're able to control yourself and you're able to control those things, you're going to have temptations up up the you-know-what. But, however, God has also given you strength. And I'm at 840 days, I believe it is today. So, and it's probably nearly 80, 85 month mode days. You're going to, if you're in that type of mode, and you're not really thinking about this at all, what's going to happen is that even though you have temptation and you notice it, it becomes it, it becomes more of just a, a great compliment. And obviously you're thankful for, the, for that. But it's not to the point where you're actually going to think about taking it, you know, take, taking advantage of it or even using it. Now, on the other hand, if you're a person who wants to have a relationship with somebody... Well, that's great. This is a great way then to kind of pick those people out and you know the person is doing that to you, then they really kind of like you. And that's a good indication. But again, guys, when you go into relationships, you go into a marriage, just remember the same principle. Do not lose your energy. And, and sometimes you may have to kind of try to learn how to not lose your energy, even if you're kind of being intimate with your wife. Or husband, no, I'm sorry, wife or husband, your wife, or a girlfriend or boyfriend. You have to be careful in those things. Now, I go back. I'm very old-fashioned, so I don't believe in having um, you know any, any level of uh, intimacy like that until you're married. But you know, that's really, really kind of that's dark ages type of stuff compared to what people do now. But the thing is, is that I still believe that's true, and I think this is one of the reasons why. I think one of the reasons why is you want to continue to save your energy until you're married and then do it do do it when you're married but do it also in the purpose of having children and I think people will look at human beings differently when we do that we're not just kind of you know I don't think God has given us the idea of just being sex creatures all the time and just running around having sex all the time I think certainly you know that may be a, a fantasy ideas people have but that's not really the reality that I think that God wants us to do I mean, we want to serve God's purpose. We don't want to be around looking for, you know, partners all the time, you know, every minute of the day. And it's not, you know, that kind of drive comes more from the evil one to me than it comes from God. And I think certainly you have to understand that what's happening to you is you're being controlled by another force. Someone else is coming to you and looking to basically kind of control you you know, through this type of, of type of behavior. So this is why I say that it's important to understand that you're in a battle. You're in a battle because once you start doing this, that women come over to all over the place to try to get that energy from you. There's kind of a funny movie, I think it's called uh, 40 Days or something like that, where this guy goes into, uh, you know, he refrains from, uh, he uses semen retention, he doesn't call it that, but you know, refrains from having any sort of intercourse and things like that. And the women are all on top of him. In fact, their their purpose is to try to get him to lose his energy. It's kind of a hilarious type of movie, but it does signify the actual truth. And sometimes, 
you know, comedies have a lot of truth in them, and this is the truth. Because once you do this, women recognize it. And as Winchester said, they'll literally throw themselves at you. Because the idea is, is that they understand what you're doing from a subconscious level. And it's highly attractive to them because you're a man under control, you're a man who has this energy that they want, and you're a person who can actually then transfer that energy to a lot of other things, such as, um, you know, <laughs> crazy people. Crazy people out there today. Uh, but transfer energy to things like, you know, ambition, getting money, getting jobs, protecting, all those things. And so women understand the connection between those two, that if you have that level of energy, you're going to use it. And that makes a great uh, person for you to be uh, in a relationship with, in a marriage with, and that sort of thing. Because that's a person who has self-control. And I think that's where the key is. That women understand there's very few men out there that have self-control. And this is why they get jealous very often of women, because they know men don't have self-control. And so this is why the jealousy from women comes not about the man, because they realize... <laughs> A lot of men are kind of clueless when it comes to all this stuff. But they also realize that women are like they are. And they will try to get that energy. And they'll, if they have to steal it away from another woman, they'll do that. And that's what happens a great deal of the time. So behind the scenes, all these things are happening. But it comes back down to a very physiological type of thing. And the physiological type of thing is basically that you are full of great energy. And this is what makes you a man and a masculine man. And the, all this stuff about destroying men, things like that, comes from the idea that people want to take away that energy from you. And this is something that you can't let happen. You've got to stay strong. You've got to be battle-tested. You've got to be a warrior all through your life. Because this is what's going to lead you into God's purpose. And like I said, I made it 840 days. So, you know, a little bit more than two years, and we're trying to keep it going as long as possible. My goal is 12 years. We'll see what happens. If I'm still doing YouTube videos, you know, 12 years from now, that'll be amazing. But the idea that you really want to kind of look at is realize that this is a, a lifestyle change. And this is something that you do for the rest of your life. And you just don't move away from it. Because the idea is that you realize the benefits are so great on this, and they're just so powerful that what you really kind of want to accomplish is the idea that you are in God's purpose. You are working with God's purpose and you're able to achieve a lot of great things because of that. But, you know, you will see higher focus level. You'll see great physical benefits, more muscle. You know, I'm getting, I, I, I'm still close to my abs. I'm not there yet, but it's getting better all the time. And the idea is that you're going to create a lot of attraction as well your health benefits your attraction all these things are positive types of things that are happening because you basically are making a decision to show a lot of self-confidence and, and self-direction and be positive because of that so it's very uh, very clear that that's very important alright so anyway thank you Winchester for your comments today my friend thank you as well for the Willem and Abstract 101, and uh, thank you for all you guys who are submitting stuff. I had a good one from yesterday from AJ Dynamo, so thank you there. Who's con Thank you, all you guys, for making comments and contributing uh, plums. I'm going to go ahead and talk about yours tomorrow, and we'll continue kind of focusing on some of these things about sin and whatever to topics you want to talk about, guys. And I, I don't mind repeating videos because I think there's a lot of new viewers we get. We're getting close to 500 or 600 viewers, so uh, as subscribers. So thank you so much, and I'm happy to kind of talk about issues and go over it again. Um, it'll probably be interesting one of these days. I go back and re-listen to one of the ones I did before, and see if I've I've changed any kind of the things I'm saying. So, but I believe as I'm evolving, a lot of the same ideas are this are really similar, and we go back to the fact that it's important to recognize that we have to be man, men. And there is no more of this nonsense going around that you know we have to be more, more feminine. I don't believe that's the case. I believe we need to be more masculine than feminine. 
All right, guys, have a great day today. I hope you have a great weekend. I'll try to do one this weekend if I can. Uh, but if not, I will talk to you on Monday. Guys, God bless you. And continue to battle out.